Hey guys, in this episode I'll be showing you how to download uh, Panty and Stocking album songs over here. It doesn't have to be um, specific to just them or the, the show. You know, you could do anything here, but whatever the case is, this is what we, these are the programs you'll need. You're going to need iTunes, you're going to need uh, MP3 tag, you're going to need a folder, and you need WinRAR. So what you're going to do first is you're going to download WinRAR. All right. When you're done downloading WinRAR, I'll have the link in the description for you guys. Next step is uh, go here. You just click on your desktop new, and you're going to click folder. And here we go. You're going to put all the music that you download in here. Now all you need to do is go to the, the music part. So I'll open up a web browser, my web browser, and go into... All right, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this website right here, and you're going to download the RAR file. Now, let me show you the specific one that you have to click. Not this one. Scroll down to the bottom and click this one. All right. And we'll just exit out of this. Actually, you know, never mind, because I have to copy the link later. Um, And this right here. You're going to want this one. Media Fire download. Usually, they're easy. When you're done with that, you're done, pretty much. You downloaded WinRAR, you've got your folder. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into WinRAR, and you're going to go into your two files that you have. They should look like little books, bookshelves. That's not how I say books. I don't say books. should have little books. Um, here they are, these two. And you're going to double-click on them, go in the folder, and there's all your music. You're going to scroll over them all, and then drag and drop in your folder on your desktop and it should leave you with all this alright so that's how you download music from RAR files and put them on your laptop or computer next step in the process what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this the mp3 tag and should have it downloaded sorry about that I forgot should have it downloaded go to mp3 tag.com you're going to go to uh, mp3 tag v275 setup.exe and it's for uh, OS if you have Mac or I mean it's for Mac if you have Mac OS operating okay whatever so it works both ways now mp3 tag as the name implies we can click on an album and add whatever cover we want to to it as you see, I already did mine, and uh, we'll click this one, and we'll add whatever cover we want. So, say uh, we want, I don't know, Dora. We go to Dora. We'll go to oh, video, not videos. We'll go to images. We'll go here. And you see this right here? You just click, save image as, bam, you'll be done. Click here, click add to cover, it'll bring up this folder, and you just go to pictures, and you look from in here. Alright? So, you've got that down, you've got your picture, you can exit out, or save first, then exit out. Next is the next part, you got iTunes. This was the complicated part for me, so I'm assuming it's the same for you guys. You're going to open this tab. And as you already did it, you're going to plug in your phone. You should get a notification. Unlock your phone. You should get a notification that says, do you trust this computer? You say, yes. And then it should start downloading, and you've got this little thing right here. Uh, yeah, I'll find. Um, so it should come up with this little thing right here. You'll go here. Oh, the, it's copying all of the songs right now. I'm sorry. So it should, yeah, it should bring you here. So sync only checked songs and videos is what you should do. Otherwise, it'll sync all of the things that you have on here and that's a lot especially for like an ipad or your phone or something like that see this phone's very small it doesn't have a lot of memory in it 
So I only did sync music, and I've got a lot of songs. So it made my audio go up not not by a lot, but now I've got more songs. Um, you click that, and you just click sync. See, so I'll unclick it, and then I'll click it again, and then I can sync it up. Should be done. Let it sync, and then you'll be done. And you now have or should have a bunch of songs with whatever album cover you want on it on your iTunes or on iTunes for free. So I'll switch to this other camera and I'll show you if it worked. All right. So sorry about this because I don't have anything to record this with, but as you can see, we're going to go into iTunes. And in your library, you'll only have the songs that you started out with. And that's all right. You're going to go to Playlist. And you're going to go into Recently Added. And then all the songs will be there. And it's got, it's got the custom album covers that we put on. And then other songs that I have in there. And then you're done. You've got um, songs on your phone. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you want more videos like this or even a review on um, Panty and Stocking, I'll gladly do that because I am almost finished with the uh, anime and will be very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.